I mean, I guess I just got to start by answering the big question. Where have I been? If y'all are wondering. First of all, happy spring, everyone. Happy spring. Happy new year. Restart. Fresh. Flowers blooming. Leaves growing. Sun shining. Air fresh. Mind clear. Feeling good. Feeling right. Um, did y'all, did y'all, did you, no, but seriously, did y'all miss me? Because y'all can drop that in the comments and drop down how y'all feeling. But, um, I've been good. I've been really good, actually. Let me tell you, let me give you a little catch up. It's funny because, I mean, I didn't plan to be away. I didn't plan to be away. I've just been busy. And let me tell y'all, busy, busy was not, was, busy was not the goal for this year. And I used to like being busy. I used to love being busy, actually, as long as I'm busy doing what I love. But even so, no. Now, no. And at that time, I didn't know boundaries for myself, I guess. Like, and res I didn't respect myself and my own time and just, I didn't think about giving myself a break. I didn't know that. I only knew fast. And I wanted to show y'all what I wrote last year when I was coming up my, with my vision board. It's right here. Well, I'm not going to show y'all, but right here i'll give you all a quick whatever you already know what's on my vision board something i wrote down on this page for vision 2022 vision board this one i was planning out figuring out what i was going to put on it something i wrote was busy working and enjoying myself but not overwhelmed but the word busy is scribbled out because i scribbled it out when i was writing i was like hold up 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 okay hold up um Busy was not the goal. I scratched it out last year before we even stepped in here. Um, but I have been busy. I have been overwhelmed a little. Um, and yeah, that's just not it. I'm just not with the busy. We don't wanna be busy. We wanna be well rested. We wanna be relaxed. We wanna be booked. Uh, we wanna be doing what we love, but not busy. And not overwhelmed, but I mean, sometimes you gotta, I guess work with what you can and do what you can, honestly. But I've been busy working. I've been busy working this job I got, having not, I hope I, that sounds like grammatically correct, like having not met most of the requirements for this job. And I was nervous, but I mean, God said yes and here I am and I'm, I'm happy about it, honestly. But that's what, that's what's been going on with me. But even more than that, I haven't seen y'all since like early February, I believe, if that. And so many good things have been happening, like even like internally, and that's the biggest part for me. And it's just like, with all these great things happening outside of me, I, I, I never disregard what I already have. and. That everything outside of me is only making me more grateful for what I, what I do have and what I've been had. And I was gonna come back and I was gonna say how great I was doing, especially compared to where I was last year around this time. Anyone could look at you and be like, anyone would have looked at me last year and been like, oh, well, maybe. And would have thought I was doing great. I don't know. People just assume because you're looking good, you're doing good. I don't, that doesn't, it's people's minds. Anyways, I really wasn't on the inside. But now I am, and I've really been growing, and I've grown a lot, and I know all the good things that are happening to me is God rewarding me for all the growth and progression and for my positive mindset and me working hard and being disciplined and being determined and actually giving myself things to look forward to and just being good and sticking to my word and believing in myself and trusting in myself and so much more honestly 
the good i the, the it's the little things that happen it's like i never let that pass. it doesn't doesn't it just doesn't i just don't let it pass me by i i notice every little thing god does in my life and that's just shoot that's just that but i've been doing good and i hope you guys have been too honestly and had i made this video a few weeks ago i probably would have said you're doing amazing but no i'm doing good and good is good and I actually made a video like two and a half weeks into February talking to myself and I was like bawling. And I'm like, I'm just saying, I was just saying how happy I am for myself and how proud I am of myself and like how I'm in such a good place and how when something, when in it, I haven't gone back to it, but I took it February 18th. I just checked, but like I, I gone, I went back to it to see the date I took it, but I didn't rewatch it. And I was just bawling and I was just so happy and I was just feeling so good and so grateful and thankful and I, something I said was that the way I felt was that I'm at the top of the mountain and right now I see the most beautiful view and everything is so good that I forgot about the climb like yeah I climbed but I'm here and I'm not thinking about how hard it was to get here even though it was like yeah you reflect and everything but I'm in the now y'all I've never been in the now ever 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 like ever <laughs> I'm not gonna cry on here but something I also mentioned was that I knew I was gonna have to start climbing again and that when when I don't remember when I said something like I just hope I remember that moment like this like all the good when the bad comes but what I also do love is that when good things happen to me, I no longer think about, oh snap, oh snap, things are going good, something bad's about to happen. No, why would I? Why would you do that to yourself? You're you're calling it already. You're calling bad the badness. Is that a word? You're calling bad to you. But anyways, within the past few weeks, maybe like I'll say two weeks, two and a half weeks or so. I felt myself slipping. So let's change it now from climbing and like, let's say hiking to a mountain climb. And I felt like I was mountain climbing. I'm sorry, rock climbing. I'm rock climbing. And I pictured it like this. I'm holding on and let's say I'm doing so good. I don't even have a rope. I'm rock climbing, free free rock climbing. You know people actually do that? Anyways, I'm rock climbing and no rope because that's how that God got me. God got me like that. And God really do got me like. <laughs> Shoot. I'm like, for real, God just got me like that. Like, we just, yeah. We like this. We like this. Like, I'm not even playing. We like this. Anyways. I'm I'm holding on and I'm looking around maybe with one hand or so because I'm just I'm that secure and I know I'm that secure and I'm looking at the most beautiful sunset and like it's just amazing but like within the past few weeks I, I feel myself start to slip and like everything's starting to fall and I'm like what's going on and obviously if everything's falling i have to let go i have to let go and <laughs> honestly i have to jump it probably sounds crazy but i have to jump and it's funny because like this is how i feel like right now like within the past few years like i have to jump but i never want to let go i never want to let go of anything i have to let go i have to jump and the funniest part is that i can fly I can fly. I forgot I have wings. I don't even know where I'm going with that, <laughs> but I'm just saying like, the setting has to change. I'm rock, I, I, yeah, I was, I was climbing the mountain, I was rock climbing, but now I'm supposed to be in the sky and it's scary, but that's the whole point. And 
I'll say I started to, to fly and of course it was scary, but I, I'll say like, I know the exact point where I start to fly and let go, but was still scared flying. Um, when I forgave myself for something. Um, so I was, I'm, I, I, if y'all watched my forgiveness video with Giselle, um, I believe I mentioned in there where I'm very forgiving and I, I haven't always been, but I, I'm very forgiving and, you know, I'm more forgiving of people, other people than I am of myself. And I was really like upset with myself for a decision I made. But I literally, when I tell you, I, I actually looked in the mirror when I was like crying and I said, I forgive you. And I like whispered it at first, but then I said it out loud and I needed that and that was hard, but I forgave myself. And then it was on my mind later that day. And I was like, I looked in the mirror, it was a different mirror, but I looked in the mirror and I said like, all right, we let it go. Let's just release it. We already, we already, I already forgave you. It's time to let it go. And then, yeah, I felt free from that ever since. With that being said, there's been so much goodness on the outside of me in my life. But on the inside, I'm doing good. I'm staying positive. I'm, I'm always grateful. I, I don't believe I let the negative overcome me and I don't let it take over. For some reason, right, right when I said, I don't let the negative uh, come over me. I just thought of Thantos. Was that Thantos from Swi Twitches? I used to be scared of that, scared of that movie. Was that Thantos from Twitches when like the black like fog was like falling on? Like that's scary. Anyways, that's what I'm picturing. But yeah, I don't let it touch me. It's because I know it's because I've been unpacking so much trauma and doing a whole lot of shadow work that I didn't want to, but I am and it hurts and it's just like oh wow I forgot about that thing but yeah that that is why i feel this way and that is where these emotions are coming from and da -da 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 -da. and earlier today i was thinking about how you know everyone's talking about the light at the end of the tunnel f f that light at the end of the tunnel f that Let's 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 all picture something right here. Let's all picture something together. Let's picture us might as well in a tunnel, but it doesn't go straight. Okay? But in your mind, you already know which way to go. But sometimes you get lost and sometimes you have to feel your way around to know that you're at least turning and you're just you're going somewhere. And this whole time it's pitch black, obviously. Is pitch black and and it's a little light it's a little light so you're you're thinking you know you're thinking you got night vision you got night vision okay let's picture that you got night vision but oh, just a little just a little and this and all you're looking for right now is that light that everyone's talking about that light at the end of the tunnel and you're feeling your right way around you're using the vision you barely have and you're looking for the light, da, 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 da. You are the light, bro. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, you're the light. You're looking for this light. You're not gonna find it. Sorry, but that wasn't night vision you have. That's the light that you are. How else do you think you're getting your way around? That's, if it was pitch black, you wouldn't barely be able to go nowhere. I would, honestly, if it was pitch black, I'd be sitting, I'd be sitting my butt on the floor scared i mean that's me but just don't let your light black out because then you're really gonna have to figure your way around i don't even know where i was going with that shoot and that's okay but i hope that hit somebody i hope that touched somebody because it touched me when i was thinking about it and i'm saying that to say i no long i no longer wait for the goodness to to find the goodness I no longer wait to find the goodness. I no longer wait to find the light because I know that I am the light. Yeah, it's it feels dark on the inside. I know, I, I can't even say that. It doesn't feel dark on the inside, but I know there is so much darkness on the inside. 
I just don't let it take over. And once you realize that you are the light and that's literally how you're able to guide your own way through, that's when your the light starts to get bright. It starts to lighten up and you're like, oh wow, everything out, yeah, it's getting brighter out here. It's getting brighter out here. It's getting brighter out here because you're brightening up. You finally got some sense. You're finally, you're building your self-esteem. You're building your confidence. You're, you're starting to trust yourself. That's really what you have to do. You have to trust yourself, trust God. Cause y'all are leading the way. It's in you, literally. Literally, it's in you. So yeah, I've been feeling a lot lately and so much to the point where it's like a few nights ago, I was laying down, I was about to go to sleep and like, I don't wanna say I have like, my mind goes everywhere at night, but I'm sometimes inspiration like hits at night. And anyways, I'm like over, I don't think I was overthinking, but I just, I just felt so much. I felt so much and it was really overwhelming. Like I've just, I just felt like I felt everything. I felt like I could hear everything and then like, Lately, I've been able to like see so much and have so many ideas about like my future and certain things I want to do and certain things I know I will do and I could, it's like they already happened, honestly. But I know where it, it's certain things like I know where I'm headed. And I'm thinking like, whoa, I didn't know it was possible for my senses to heighten. You would have lost, you would have thought I lost one of my senses the way my sense, my other senses were like, I, it's just I'm like what is going on anyways I go to sleep and wake up and I don't know if I had a bad dream this night but I I woke up I could barely breathe and that's a little dramatic but lately for like the past month or so I, I wake up often and like I I have to take like super like slow deep breaths to actually catch my breath in the morning it's like I could I, I could I, yeah I'm, I'm like I barely have any breath to breathe in the morning and I hate that feeling and like I just have a lot of anxiety in the morning honestly and it's like my mind is all over the place and sometimes a dream triggers that it's like okay I can't even sleep peacefully but anyways um I'm I'm currently my mind is all over the place and my body's still waking up and I'm, I'm currently teaching my mind and body that they are on the same team y'all are not enemies so can we please get it together can we can we respect each other can we respect each other's morning time can we respect each other 24 7. I've, I've already know how my mind and my heart works i'm i i know i'm i don't even worry about i don't think too much about that but my mind and my body can we can we get it together and it's like everything outside of me, everything with the the physical, like I've always been so fast paced, like get this done, get that done when it comes to like accomplishments or goals or like where I should be. But with the inside, like I've never been taught to deal with my emotions and I'm still working on that. And I'm in lately, I, I have been feeling my feelings and I haven't been avoiding that. And that's why I've been that's why I've been feeling so much. That's why so much is going on with me emotionally because I'm unpacking so much. And it's it's really a lot. Like I'm going through a lot emotionally. And that's okay. Um but I anyways, I was in the car headed somewhere and it hit me. My senses aren't heightened. They're at the level they would be had all these experiences and different things not fogged them. Uh, my senses haven't heightened, but because I'm feeling my feelings and all this is coming to the surface, that I've been feeling so much more. And because this is coming to the surface and I'm letting and I'm letting all this pour out, my vision is clearing up because I'm dealing with all these things inside that are just blurring my vision and just like, I don't know, just messing with my senses. And it was like, wow. That makes sense. And it made me feel better. 
it's funny because I'm out of town right now. Yeah, I'm out of town right. I'm out of town right now, on a work trip. All expenses paid. God, God, you're, God, thank you, God. Like that's God, bro. 